Hey, how's it going YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here. And uh, today we're gonna go ahead and cover how to mount roof racks onto your vehicle. So the first thing you're gonna need is roof rails. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, roof rails are what run from the back all the way to the front of your vehicle. And then the roof racks are what run across the width of your vehicle to connect both roof rails. So the steps that you're gonna see here today are pretty much standard for all you know vehicles. There, there's no real difference there. But if you're stuck making the decision if you should get roof racks, I highly suggest you do. And that's simply due to the fact that roof racks really allow your car to do what it's made to do. It's made to haul stuff, mount stuff, carry stuff. So, you know, if you're interested in like cargo carriers, kayaking, boating, fishing, snowboarding, skiing, anything like that, there's a roof rack attachment and it's gonna make your car 10 times more useful than it already is. So, that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the roof racks that we have here today and uh, let's get started. All right, so today we have our roof racks. Thankful to our sponsor, Bouge RV, for sending us these roof racks. So these are going to be what we're installing today. So definitely excited to check these out. And before we get started, I'll go ahead and do a quick unboxing of these roof racks. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, so right at the top of the box, we got our instruction documentation. We're going to have four of our roof rail attachments. We have a little bag of hardware and some tools. So that's great. We don't, won't need tools for this. Awesome. All right, so first impressions of the roof rail attachment itself. You can definitely see that it's made really well. The material is definitely nice and thick where it needs to be. Um, I haven't seen this on other roof rails and racks yet, but there is a nice tie down point here. So that'll definitely help when you're mounting equipment. Um, then we can see we have a nice rubber coating here, rubber pad to uh, not damage our roof rails. And of course, this is how we will mount it onto our roof rails. All right, so same story here. The material chosen is definitely really good. We have our attachment points here. We can see there's some nice inserts there to help with uh, threading on those screws. That's pretty much it. They are very strong. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go into our little hardware bag take out what we're going to need for this. So we're going to need two of our screws here and two washers. And we're most likely going to need our Allen key. So let's grab that. Next, we want to take our roof rail attachment. We can go ahead and just slide that on. We can see this is going to be a adjustable side here. Slap on our screw and washer and then thread that into those mounting points. Not too tight because we're going to have to adjust it obviously but that is about good. We can adjust it. Now let's get the other side. Screw and washer, screw and washer. And then we can take our next roof rail attachment. We can see that these actually have holes and not slots. So we know this side's not the adjustable side. And we can go ahead and tighten these down. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. We can just go ahead and follow the same steps for our second roof rack. Starting off with the front of the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and just place it here. And you do want to note on the top, there is arrows pointing forward. So make sure you pay attention to those, knowing that that's the way to face it to the front. So we're going to start off by loosening the screw that's on top here, uh, which is consequently going to open up the mounting system on the bottom. Now that we have this nice and loosened, we can go ahead and move it into position. And I'll try to give you the best uh, view of this that I can. But on the bottom of the roof rail, there's actually a little notch or divot that you want to move your roof rack until it adapts right into that notch. And I'll try to get you to see that. But uh, if not, it's blatantly obvious when you are doing this yourself. So you'll be able to see that with no problem. So now, we can go ahead and just tighten up the screw on the top that we just loosened and torque it down. Nice. And that's on there tightly. Now let's go ahead and get the other side. This is the adjustable side. So we're going to definitely want to make use of that. 
pulling it as much towards us that we can. Then we want to go ahead and locate that notch on the bottom right there. Press that into place and torque down the screw. And once we're happy with that, now we can go ahead and get these two screws on the bottom that we left just a little loose because now they're in their final position. And there we go. This is very strong on there. This is definitely not gonna come out, so this is excellent. Now we gotta do is uh, do the backside and uh, we'll be all done. All right, let's get to it. Excellent. Wow, these fit really, really good. I'm really happy with these. And these actually take advantage of the OEM um, roof rack mounting spot with those notches underneath the rails. Wow, these are awesome. All right, there we go. And there we have it folks. Our roof racks are now nice and attached. They are definitely not going anywhere and neither is what we're going to be mounting on top. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, highly suggest you check out Bouge RV for some nice roof racks for your vehicle. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.